Good morning, everyone. My name is Sinsili Sinsapsili. Today, I would like to present my senior project on topic Identification of Novel Colon Inhibitors of SARS-CoV-2 Main Protease Using HILSA and Molecular Docking Techniques on Epsilon and Epsilon Analogs. For three years, NADEVO has been suffering with the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, but, incurrently, the number of infected cases and deaths are decreasing because we have medicine and vaccine to handle this situation in time. And what is the thing that helps us to quickly under control? And that thing is a powerful computer technology, which is many advantages such as low cost, save time, and save resources. A few days ago, the WHO declared COVID-19 disease is not a global health emergency anymore. However, it's not the reason to stop fighting SARS-CoV-2 antiviral. And of course, if we can find a new compound that can treat SARS-CoV-2, it will have many useful for us. For example, we will have more drug options, or maybe it is a repurposing drug for next pandemic. And exactly, we will have more a design antiviral drug based on powerful template. In this work, I will use computer to predict inhibitory SARS-CoV-2 activity of the new synthetic epsilon analog by QSAR model. QSAR, or Qualitative Structure Activity Relationship, is a popular technique for drug discovery. The QSAR model that used in this work was constructed by the 27 epsilon and epsilon analog that proved potent against the SARS-CoV-2 main protease as a covalent inhibitor before. So, the covalent inhibitors is an important inhibition to a specific target with stable bond. And the target of SARS-CoV-2 is main protease because main protease is an essential enzyme for viral replication to create polyprotein to be function. And inactive sites have two critical amino acids that are histidine 41 and cysteine 145. If we can inhibit the main protease, which means the virus cannot replicate itself. Next, the QSA model was used to predict inhibitory activity of the 13 synthetic epsilon analog and found that compound P1 and P7 are remarkable compared with three points. The first, they are the highest inhibitory activity. Second, they tend to be an oral drug. And the last one, they don't have toxicity. And through third study, I used molecular docking to find the suitable orientations to make current bond in the next step reaction between selenium atom of the compound and sulfur atom of the cysteine 145. And found that Compound P1 and P7 have orientation and this tend, tend to be a covalent inhibition. Nevertheless, all of this work is just the first step toward the development of antiviral drug in the future.